All right, what's up, YouTube? Uh, Mega Winfrey here. Um, today, when I got home from work, I had a package in the mail. I was expecting the package. Um, <clears throat> what I have here are just your uh, NBC suits, your uh, nuclear biological chemical warfare suits. These are actually uh, Mark III Bravos and uh, Mark IV suits. Um, same with military. These are actually military surplus. Um, I ordered these off of mredepot.com. Great site, uh, affordable prices. Um, they they offer a lot of different products as far as emergency preparedness stuff. Um, so they're a really great site. Um, a lot of MRE stuff. Um, these they were selling these at a great price. They were selling uh, just the trousers and the uh, the uh, the pullover for. Uh, it was $11.75 and it comes packaged just like you see here. Now the other thing they had on there was the actual bag, okay, and it was $14.75 for with the bag and inside the bag it should have uh, set up like this, the uh, trousers and the pullover and then it also has a um, rubber gloves, the chemical warfare gloves, and the actual cloth gloves that you put on before you put on those. Okay, so um, it came fast. I actually ordered this um, on Sunday, and it's here on Tuesday. So at, at like 10 a.m. they delivered it. So um, great. Fast, I mean right away. I ordered it Sunday, Monday morning, they sent it out, and it was here. And so it's real quick, fast shipping. Uh, they kept me in the know the whole time. Sent me emails. Hey, here's here's where it's at. Tracking numbers, everything. Great customer service. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a review of this. I'm going to open it. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to do the whole thing. I ordered uh, extras for me and my uh, wife, and I'm going to put uh, one of these in my vehicle, and then I'm going to put leave one of these inside my house. And um, I already have gas masks. So um, they'll go great with my gas mask and, you know, with the actual economic, uh, you know, downturn and us preppers and, you know, things we worry about and with, you know, the sun acting up, because you guys seen that on the news, um, you know, these are good things to have and they're cheap enough, you know, they're cheap enough to just buy one for you and your family. So uh, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and open this up and uh, see what we have here. So it has straps. Um, it's got a cloth strap here. The bag's rubber. It's got a nice uh, cloth strap here. And if you look, it's actually got the NSN on it. So you know it's not fake. You know it's military because it's got the NSN on it, which the, uh, is, is actually the service number. So it definitely is uh, military surplus. So let me go ahead and open this up. And the bag, the nice thing about the bag is everything's packed in nice and tight. It's got that string there so you can tie it up. But it gives you enough room. I don't know if you can see that. Just give me one second. Okay, it's actually got enough room in there so you can put your gas mask and a few other items too. Maybe a bottle of water, your drinking container. Um, the bags are actually nice. They're very strong. They're very sturdy. I mean, I can pull on it. They're not, they're not cheap, you know, they're good rubber bags, so, and then on the back of the bag, it's also got some strap in here that you can add that to your actual pack or your Alice pack or whatever it may be, so great for outside of the bug out bag too, so, um, we'll see what kind of product we have inside, now mind you, these are military surplus, so, when were they produced? The 80s, okay, but the great thing is, is as you can see here, it comes in two rubber bands, it comes kind of like an MRE. It's got an outside layer and then it's got a vacuum sealed layer. So the outside layer protects the vacuum seal and both of them came like that. They're packaged real tight. They're both about the size of an MRE. Let's see what else we got in the bag. Okay, um, I was using a Streamlight flashlight actually. So if anybody asks questions. Um, also, um, in the bag it has two cloth 
gloves. And what that's going to do is when you put on, when you start putting on rubber stuff, you start to sweat, okay? Um, and so what this is going to do is this is, this is kind of like your sock inside your uh, shoe or your boots. So came with these gloves. These gloves are rubber. They go up fairly far, as you can see. And then the suit will just wrap around here and put a good seal on these rubber gloves. So, yeah. Now the 1195 one, it just comes with the with the trousers and the uh, pullover and the smock. So, um, you know, for three extra bucks, it's not a bad deal to just go ahead and get the gloves with it. Uh, they're good quality rubber gloves. So, go ahead and put that down for right now. I think the first thing I'm going to open up is the actual trousers. Like I said, uh, it comes in double sealed, uh, one's vacuum, and then the other one is uh, just plastic around it. The knife I'm using is uh, actually a uh, SOG auto clip. So I know somebody's going to ask me, hey, what kind of knife was you using? Uh, it's my 2012 EDC. Um, probably won't do a review on it. Might. But uh, it's just a cheap folder. Um, it works. Uh, I'll probably show it in another video when I show you what uh, my EDCs are. Um, but anyway. So yeah, like I said, vacuum sealed. Brand new vacuum sealed. It still has the uh, actual, like, Stamping from the military. It hasn't been opened. These are brand new. So quality stuff here. They're not No air leakage. It's vacuum sealed So let me go ahead and open this up now And in a real situation would I Would I pro would I open this with a knife? Probably not because I don't want to take the chances of getting in a rush and cutting into this material because these are waterproof up to a certain amount of time and uh, they're actually fire retarded too, which is, which is awesome. Um, that'll help on an initial blast. Um, after you open these, generally it really depends on um, how strong the actual chemical agent that you're in or the nuclear, you know, the radiation is around where you're at. Um, a lot of times in the military, we go with a standard of 30 days or 24 hours with multiple attacks and uh, in, a, in a real bad environment. Um, realistically, you put this on and you get out of that situation. All right, so this, this stuff is thin. Now, I know a lot of people are saying, well, you know, uh, maybe I don't need that for a situation like that. And... Uh, you know, but these, these are also great for hunting, too. For you hunters out there, think about it. If it's not letting any chemicals in, how much body heat is it actually letting out? Okay, so in that cold weather environment, these are going to keep you nice and warm and nice and comfortable. So, go ahead and open these up. And the size I have here is a medium. And I still have my boots on because I wanted to test this out. I mean, I just got home from work, but I also wanted to test this out in my boots and see, uh, you know, how easy it would be to slip on over my boots. And I'm hoping it won't be that hard because I'd rather carry these in a bug out bag or something like that. So, and that's that's all that came in the uh, actual packaging. So, it has straps. Okay, so I'm assuming that's going to be my back, right? Has two long straps or suspenders. And then I'll just put it on. And I'm kind of pointing my, my toe down. Slides right over. And I'm, and I'm wearing them, and I'm putting on a medium right now. So I'm five foot seven. Uh, about 185 pounds right now so I'll go ahead and uh, put these on All right 
so should be a loop right here and where's it at oh right here on the outside so you strap this up boom now this is probably going to get hot because like I said these are great for heat strap that up and it's got pockets on each side the little velcro and then straps are back here now you'd want to use these with the rubber boot. Um, they make uh, boot slipovers. I'm not sure if they have it on their website, but and they tell you how to tie these too. Um, I'm just gonna do a simple tie for the video. Maybe a couple half hitches, real quick, just to uh, just for the video purposes, you know. And you could probably cross them again, but uh, I'll just do them like this real quick. They're actually automatically crossed in the back. So, I'll just do a half hitch on each end. So there you go. And then they have straps down here where you can tighten them up. You know, seal them up around your boots. And where's that? Right here. But, so, for you hunters out there, instead of going out and spending anywhere from $100 to $300 on a scent lock suit, just pick up one of these for cheap. If it ain't letting chemicals in, it's not going to let your body chemicals out too much. So, go ahead and open this up. Now, the outer layer, the vacuum layer, it actually makes it to where you can tear it. So you could necessarily open up the outside layer with a knife, just be careful, don't cut it, and then go ahead and open up the vacuum sealed layer like this. We got basically the same thing going here. It actually comes with instructions on how to, where to tie stuff, how to tie this and how to tie that. Um, I'm not gonna go over that too much. I'm just kind of just showing you guys a quick review. Um, just to give you guys an idea of what it's going to look like. They actually have pictures on their website. Um, but I haven't found any better prices. I mean, these, for the price of this, you can buy it, forget about it. I mean, 10 or 11 bucks for a good product that is used by our military. And they're thin. I mean, this is... A thin material. This is a lightweight, thin material. But I'm telling you, even if you can, you can put one of these on and stay warm in cold weather, no problem. And they are water resistant. Uh, you know, flame, flame retardant, fire retardant. So I'll go ahead and pull this down. All right, and then normally what you would do is you take your gloves and you put those on first. Make sure they were on really good, right? And then you'll put your suit on, and then what you'll do is you'll wrap. You remember how I did the pant le pant legs? You'll do the same thing with these and right here it's got pen pockets and stuff like that but you'll do the same thing basically you'll rock this all the way around make sure it's good and tight around your gloves and you're pretty much good to go has a drawstring up top then right here you'll notice you can tighten this up too get that tighter seal around your body So, I don't want to put the gloves on because, well, they're just gloves. You guys get the idea. But, um, yeah. Put it on, and it stays pretty tight. Then what you'll do is you'll have your mask on, and here's your hood. And your mask will fit right inside here. 
okay? And then when you get your mask on, you'll put your mask on and then you'll tighten this up. It's got a little drawstring right here. You tighten this up around your mask and there you go. I mean, overall for the price I paid, I know a lot of people are going to say, I might get some comments on there, well, now, these things are purchased in 80. This one's actually stamped 1983. They're vacuum sealed, they haven't been opened, and I guarantee you it's better than wearing a t-shirt. A another chemical war or warfare suit that uh, was actually produced recently, it's going to run you about three or four hundred bucks for a good one. This is one that is used by our military. They're fine, they're vacuum sealed, a gas mask, and you're good to go. Uh, Overall, I think these things are great. I'll leave a link to their website. Um, like I said, for one with the bag, comes with the gloves. It's going to cost you uh, $14.75. And uh, one with just the, uh, they actually have it in camo too, as you can see, um, instead of just the green. Um, these, with just these, these will cost you just a trouser and the smock will cost you $11. So, me personally, I would go with, this is what it looks like. I mean, I ordered these uh, just to see. And then I ordered the actual bag ones. Uh, $14.75 and um, $11.75. Um, great product. I'm happy. Um, if, if I happen to go hunting or something, I can use this. It's actually got a compartment right here. You can use two. Um, they got a good thing going on right now on the promotion code on their website. If you put in the co uh, codes in capital letters, thanks, they're going to give you 10% off. So I uh, hope you guys like the review. Um, let me know what you think, YouTube. Uh, I appreciate you guys subscribing. And, um, you know, uh, I think you guys should pick these up. It's a great product. So, um, yeah. MRE uh, Depot. I'll leave a link to their website um, down below this video and um, I'll also remind you guys about the promotion code. Um, it's 10% so it's a good deal. They're already cheap enough as it is so um, fast shipping too. They used uh, UPS. Um, Alright, appreciate your time YouTube um, and I'll be making another video soon on uh, some more chemical warfare stuff. Alright, appreciate it.